Welcome back to the Speaking History channel, and thank you for joining us for the fourth episode of our series, The End of Times 2024. In this series, we delve into the events leading up to the Day of Judgment, examining prophecies and signs that foretell the end times. Let's dive right into today's episode. Today's reality, a grim fulfillment of prophecies. Look around us today, and we can see these predictions unfolding in our cities. It's a shameful chapter in the history of humanity, neither the murderer knows why they are killing, nor does the victim understand why they are being killed. All of this chaos stems from linguistic, political, nationalist, and religious differences. Biblical and Islamic Prophecies, A Sobering Parallel Even in the last chapter of the Gospel of Matthew, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, spoke to his disciples about the end times. Matthew 24 9 states. Then they will hand you over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. Here, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is describing the conditions before his second coming. Similarly, authentic hadiths repeatedly predict widespread murder and plunder. Statistics speak, a look at the USA. Let's focus on the USA for a moment. According to the FBI, a murder occurs every 22 minutes. Every four minutes, there's a case of forced sexual assault involving women. Every 26 seconds, a robbery takes place. Over the past 30 years, 12 million people have lost their lives to murder and suicide a number higher than the casualties in all the wars in US history. The Counter on Crime in the USA, a non-governmental organization, describes the country as a ticking time bomb of violent crimes. They report 137 incidents of murder and suicide daily, with actual crime rates estimated to be 5 to 6 percent higher than official FBI figures. Global Perspective, a Comparative Analysis Now, let's expand our view to the rest of the world. According to annual global reports, countries with the lowest incidence of murder, robbery, and sexual assault include Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Iran, Pakistan, India, and Israel nations where religion still holds sway. In contrast, Western countries, where religion has largely been sidelined, face dire statistics reflecting societal decay. Hadiths, Timeless Warnings The prophecies given to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, over 14 centuries ago continue to resonate. For instance, Sahib Bukhari, when affairs are entrusted to those unworthy of them, await the day of judgment. Sahib Bukhari, among my followers, there will be some people who will consider indulgence in silk, musical instruments, and singing permissible. Sahih Muslim, IBN Majah, self-interest and greed will become common in society. Rumuzia Hadith by Ahmed Kwansari, only acquaintances will be greeted with peace. Akbar Alyam al Yama by Alama Safarani, bribery will become a form of entertainment. Ahmed, people will sell their faith for a small amount of money. Akbar Alyam al Yama by Alama Safarani, divorce will be considered a trivial matter. Sahib Bukhari, unlawful sexual relations will become commonplace. Kitab al fitan al-Simi, when the day of judgment arrives, adultery will become common. Durman Thur by Alama Jalaluddin Suyudi, men will adopt the appearance of women, and women will adopt the appearance of men. Muntakab Kuns al Amal al Muntaka al Bandi, people will be afflicted with homosexuality. The modern context, a moral crisis. The World Health Organization reports that annually, an additional 33.3 million people fall victim to sexually transmitted diseases, with AIDS being the most prevalent. Since its first diagnosis, 8.88 million people have died from this disease. Societies are sinking into moral decadence, and today, we see legal recognition of homosexual marriages, unprecedented in history. The societal atrocities we witness today were foretold by Prophet Muhammad in his hadiths over 14 centuries ago. The people of Lot, afflicted with these sins, faced Allah's wrath and were utterly destroyed. Even today, the remnants of their cities beneath the waters serve as a stark reminder. 
Friends, this concludes today's episode. I hope you found it insightful. Please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon, like and share this video, and provide us with your valuable feedback in the comment section. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.